When is a thin client not just a thin client? When it's this HP's T620 Plus flexible thin client. And for a few good reasons, those being A, I only paid $40 for mine, B, it came with 8 gigabytes of DDR3 1600 RAM, C, it also came with a 16 gigabyte M2 SATA drive. It is quad core AMD G series Jaguar system on a chip processor. And D, my favorite of all, as a spot for a half plate graphics card. Yeah, how freaking cool is that? Happy New Year, friends, and welcome back to the channel. If you watch Phil's computer lab, then you already know how many USB ports this puppy has, so I'm not telling. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I love Phil's channel. He covers some cool stuff. I'm just going to clean up some, upgrade a little, and mod, you know, so we can see what this little mini marvel can do. One upgrade of the thin client was a larger capacity M2 SSD drive. I wanted to put the full version of Windows 10 on here, and with this rather large unwanted updates, well, let's just say this should do. Alright, so Windows 10 Pro is uh, good to go, so we're just going to put it back together and see what we can do now. How many USB ports are there? Did you count them? Looking rather good now. Um, only problem I do foresee is the air has to travel over the graphics card to cool the heat pipe down that cools down the CPU. So it might be restricted a little bit, but I'm going to monitor that. On another note, this is a DDR5 GT1030 version. And uh, the 16 time slot is actually an adapter for a 4 time slot, so that will hinder the performance some. Well, alright, you ready to see what this thing can do? Let's light this candle.
Low budget, low energy consumption, but a whole lot of fun. So, uh, yeah, you're just getting started. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.